Hi everyone, I'm Hepasark and today I want to share with you something that I've just found out today. You know all those last day on earth Q&As also known as as the dev team stuff? Kefir popped this stuff in multiple languages and for those who didn't know they are from Russia. So logically they speak Russian as it's their native language. I thought I'll check them on their website Vkontakte. Vkontakte is a Russian uh, social networking site like Facebook but for Russians if I'm not mistaken. And it also happens that I know Russian almost perfectly so I decided to check what they're talking in their as the dev team. And guess what? Most of the answers in question they chose in their Russian as a dev team is different than we get in English version. So I decided to translate all of that stuff for you guys because there are really some interesting answers and questions. So the first question is almost the same like on Facebook but I still decided to translate it because why not? What will be the size of the global map? We can't give a detailed answer now about how will the map look like but of course it will be big. But why can't we open some secrets? On the map we'll have some main zones for single players, the ones that we already know and we'll also have a not known for you yet area and there the multiplayer will take place, cooperations and the rest of the stuff of our nowadays survivors. So it's almost the same like on Facebook but the second questions and the rest of the questions are different. We'll be able to hide our user interface so that we can take more beautiful screenshots. This task is not our top priority but we thought about it, we'll add it. So I guess that's cool we'll be able to take better screenshots maybe even record videos if you will want to make something about that, that's cool. And the third question is really cool, it's one of the most interesting questions here in Russian Q&A, so how will the fishing look like and will the fishing rod have durability? And the answer is, of course the fishing rod will have durability, how we can go without it. And about the fishing itself, for now we don't want to really show the mechanics of how it works. We'll just say that we are planning to make the process of fishing look the most interesting and relaxing. So really hope they're not gonna fail on this because I really have high expectations on fishing and I hope it's gonna be cool. Fourth question is, will we have an ability to reassemble stuff that we don't need, like phones, watches, wheels, forks and etc? Yes, but it won't be like you imagine it at the moment, so I like, I think most of the people imagine that we will be able to reassemble it on the reassembling electronics table or whatever it's called now, but I don't think it's gonna be like that, just how they said. So, okay, fifth question. Will we be able to craft those weapons that we can only find right now, like katana, a paddle, a golf club, a road sign, and etc.? And answer is, those weapons are from the old world and there is no possibility to craft them yourselves. You can craft only analogs. I mean, pretty fair, that's logic. Um, sixth question. Is there a possibility for a beginner unity developer to be a part of your team? Yes, there is. Send us your CV and complete our quests. Links are on our website. We're always happy with people who are passionate about games. Again, that's cool. And seventh question. Who had an idea to create a game like this? We can say that it was the idea of our old team. The point of Kefir is to create better games and for that we need a big enthusiasm from our old personnel who takes part in the project. I thought about making a hardcore game appear to be strong and stiff and when we started to create the game we already had lots of prototypes and mechanics we created long ago before Last Day on Earth existence and which we used after. I think the 8th question is the most interesting one that they didn't add in our English as the dev team and it goes like, can you add a radio tower and add an ability to communicate with other players until there's no online and answer is we will probably do so so just like I thought they will add multiplayer a little by little because this game is really big and some people take it for granted that developers post updates every week I mean every week updates it's pretty often and the game still has lots of bugs and I don't think they will add rating system and other multiplayer stuff in one goal they will be adding it like little by little just how they add stuff in the game and I think the f their first step will be communicating with other players just in chat and I think that's pretty cool can't wait for that and ninth question and tenth question are almost the same like on Facebook but still gonna read them and ninth question will there be any privileges for players who participated in the beta answer is yes and tenth question will there be a character statistics for example how many zombies you killed how many hours you played how many times you died and answer is this is not the first time you ask it guys and we already thinking about it uh, there is a big chance that we'll add it but not so fast guys I mean, that's cool, I'd like the statistics, lots of people will be able to compare their statistics and I think that would be just cool. So that's pretty much it guys, all 10 questions are done and I just want to say that I'm not a professional translator, so a few minor mistakes were made, but other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. So don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my streams, because if you did not know, I'm live streaming daily, usually last day on earth, so, so that's pretty cool I guess. 
And if you really want me to do more of these Q&A stuff, I can translate the previous ones and I can translate the upcoming ones. Just don't forget to show your support on this and I'll be able to do this. So now take care guys and see you in the next video. Peace out boys.